going back naman to your preparations na for Miss Miss Earth uh, pageant. So, okay. uh, one of the challenges I think na you encountered is you will be competing in the Philippines mm-hmm. na kaka back to back lang ng Philippines like two years ago before you competed. Yeah. So, what was your mindset? I'm very curious, what was your mindset na going into the pageant? Na mm-hmm. paano ko take itong road na to? Mm-hmm. That, that's a very, very good question. Kasi, naisip ko siya, sabi ko, before, before I go to the stage, before I compete, kasi nung, nag, nung nag-transition ako from Miss Philippines or to Miss Earth, it was so hard because I was only given two and a half months. I changed my training from zero, pinalitan nila yung walk ko. So, nahirapan ako kasi I was working from Miss Philippines Earth. I have a lot of activities during my time because so many people wanted me. So it was just so hard because I didn't fix the schedule. Ko. So I was working for Miss Philippines Earth. I was preparing all my things for the, the international. I was training and then I had to, what do you call this, to research more if I was international. So what I did was not easy. But then I thought that one thing that added para more pressure was that Hey Karen, kailang mo isipin, you know, it's not easy to win in your own country. And mm. then, dito po siya gagana po sa Pilipinas. Just kakapalala lang ni Angelia, tapos kakapalala lang ni Jamie. Correct, Sabi correct. Ko, mm. Kailangan mo siya isipin. So, yun ulit, um, actually life is all about choices. Either magpapadown ka dun sa mga facts that you can see, or you can use this um, time to really maximize it. Kasi hindi na siya mangyayari ulit. So mm. either you would allow yourself to be down, or you would maximize it. Kasi ang ginawa ko talaga, sinabi ko, never na mangyayari yung moment na to. Kaya kailangan talaga i-maximize ko siya. At never naman talagang may sumaling scientist na nandito sa field na to. Mm-hmm. Malamang, kailangan ko siyang i-maximize. So that, that's what happened. You know, you really have to focus on the things that you're good at. Um, hide your flaws. Um, flaunt your strengths. And you really have to focus on it. And one thing I can really uh, tell to people, kasi siyempre pag nasa competition ka, may kita mo, ay shucks, ang ganda ni ganyan. Ay shucks, marunong magsalita sa ganyan. One thing I remembered when I was still in Miss Earth during the competition, never compare yourself. Promise. Mm-hmm. Kasi meron kang sariling strength na wala siya. So kailangan ma-maximize mo siyang malabas. Mm-hmm. Because if you focus that, ah, she's actually sexier than me. Eh, she's smarter than me. Wala na. You would actually feel down. Kasi yung mindset mo, <clears throat> hindi na siya tama. So it's actually a mind game. Your mindset should always be right and never compare yourself. If you know yourself so much, you know your strengths and you know your weaknesses, hide them, flaunt your strengths, and you're going to be seen by the, by the judges. Kasi iba eh. Mm-hmm. Magsushine talaga siya. So, okay. ano, um, Karen, so if, if it weren't you who won the Miss Earth 2017 title, mm-hmm. so who, who do you think would have been like a worthy Miss Earth title holder that year as well. Like for example, mm. like if, sometimes you know some some girls, for example, here in Japan, okay. Um, since I work with the Miss International Organization, some I ask mm-hmm. the Miss the the Japanese delegates this question because some of them, kasi, um, iniisip nila na hindi naman ako mananalo kasi Japan ako eh. So they they already have this mindset na sana si ganito na lang manalo, si ganito manalo. Okay. They are not as competitive as the Filipinos. At us, yeah. yeah. Mga Filipinos kasi talagang, you know, you're in, you're in there to win it. So, mm. in your year, did it come in, did it cross your mind? I know that you have the winner's uh, mindset yeah, yeah. and you have the winner's attitude. <laughs> Kung baga, you were there, parang in-imagine mo na na may corona ka na. But, you know, mm. maybe it crossed your mind at some point na kung hindi rin lang naman ako, sana si ganito na lang. Sana si ganito yung mananang. Mm-hmm. Did okay. Is there a particular girl na in your year? Nag-iisip ako, di ba? During my year kasi, ang sobrang... Kasi di ba, naka-three categories kami. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I was in the second group. So, mas mas exposed ako dun sa group ko. So, mas okay. nice ako sila personally, on stage and off stage. And I, I didn't see much yung performances si group one siya ni group two. Kasi sobrang dami. Parang okay, 90 yeah. plus kasi kayo lahat. So, parang, ay nakita ko talaga, what's Juliana? She was, she was just mm, so real. Long, yeah. yeah, Juliana was um, a person na, even competition, she would help you. And she would be so honest kapag wala siyang gamit, mahihiram siya sa'yo. Tapos, willing talaga siya mag-help ng, magbigay ng helping hand, even though it's off stage. That's, that's Juliana. Kaya, until now, we're really good friends. Because she's, she's a person whom you can really, really trust. Yeah, and she's a really good heart. 
Colombian mm-hmm. girls in general, actually, they are very, yeah. very helpful and mabait. <coughs> They're just mm-hmm. like Filipinos, actually. Yeah. They're really good. Okay. Aside from Drew. Colombia. Yeah. Okay. So ask Aside yeah. from Colombia, who were your uh, other friends uh, during your batch? Yeah. Miss Earth? Um, in Miss Earth, I have Chile. We're very close. Yeah. Miss Belgium. Those are my really close friends. Uh, Nigeria, I love my Miss Nigeria. She's amazing. Oh. <laughs> um, then see, almost lahat sa group two kami magkakasama. And then I love my London, si Charlotte. They were really good people. Magkakaiba kami ng culture, pero kami kami magkakasama kapag may mga grouping. So they were th- those are the countries na talaga naging close ko. Okay. 